We're going to explain how to downgrade from Sonos S2 to Sonos S1, but keep in mind that this is generally not recommended by Sonos and may involve some risks. Sonos has officially discontinued support for S1, meaning you won't receive software updates, security patches, or new features. Proceed with caution. 1. Back up your Sonos system. Before attempting any downgrade, it's crucial to back up your entire Sonos system. This ensures that you can easily restore your settings and music library if anything goes wrong. Sonos doesn't offer a direct backup restore feature for downgrading, so consider writing down your speaker names, room assignments, and music service accounts used. 2. Identify compatible speakers. Not all Sonos speakers are compatible with S1. Check Sonos's official website to confirm whether your specific speakers and other components can be downgraded. If even one device is not compatible, the entire downgrade process may fail or result in a non-functional system. You'll need to meticulously check the compatibility of every component before moving ahead. 3. Locate and download S1 Controller app. Download the older Sonos S1 Controller app from a reliable source. Be cautious about downloading from unofficial sources, as they might contain malware. Verify the source's legitimacy before proceeding. You may need to find an older version of the app that's compatible with your Sonos devices and operating system. 4. Factory Reset Your Sonos system. After downloading the S1 Controller app and confirming compatibility, you'll need to factory reset your entire Sonos system. This process wipes all existing settings and data from your speakers. To do this, usually involves pressing and holding the button on each device until it beeps or flashes. Refer to your Sonos device's manual. Remember, this will erase all your settings and playlists. That's why the backup step is so important. 5. Install the S1 Controller app. Install the older S1 Controller app on your phone or computer. The exact steps will vary depending on the device you're using. 6. Add speakers back to your system using the S1 app. Once the S1 app is installed and running, you can re-add your speakers to the system by following the setup instructions in the app. This is often the same process as setting up a new Sonos system, but now using the older S1 app. 7. Restore settings manually. Since there's no official backup restore method, you'll need to manually configure settings like room names, speaker groupings, and music services. This may take a significant amount of time depending on how you'd configured your Sonos system before. 8. Testing and troubleshooting. Once you've completed the setup, thoroughly test your system to ensure that everything is working as expected. If you encounter any problems, consult online forums and communities dedicated to older Sonos systems for help. Remember, you are operating outside of official support, so solutions may be limited. Again, we want to strongly emphasize that downgrading to Sonos S1 is generally not recommended due to the security and support implications. Proceed at your own risk.